Hi, I'm Chio Ishikawa. I'm the Susan Brotman Deputy Director for Art and Curator of European Painting and Sculpture here at the Seattle Art Museum. And I'm in our exhibition, Victorian Radicals. And today I'm with Alicia B. Johnson. And she is an artist, curator, and co-founder of a great new organization called Wanawari. And we're here today to look at an object that Liz chose. It's a bedspread embroidered by Mary Jane Newell. Do you want to say why you chose this? Well, uh, yeah, when you asked me, I was like, it's got to be the bedspread. One, I like the accessibility of art objects and the fact that this is functional. You're sleeping under poetry. You go to bed at night and it's like the heavens are bare waters on a starry night. And each piece, when you walk around, it has its own kind of dreamy quality. One of the things about the Victorian radicals that I think is so fascinating is that these young artists they were going way back into history for their inspiration. And I think Wanawari is also a project that is very much embedded in history. Wanawari is like a concrete action that is about taking a home that's been in Inye Wakoma, which is one of our co-founders, in his family for five generations and paying the rent so that we support a black homeowner staying in the Central District, which is a community that's experienced widespread gentrification and displacement, and then making the house available back to the black community. So we always have visual artists, performing artists, and we want people to be able to experiment and create. When we first talked about this show, you said, I love the Pre-Raphaelites. Tell me why. I actually remember being in art school, in my chair, looking at slides, and learning about how they were going to the past, and it was this radical act against what was happening in their time. And that was the first moment that I knew that I wanted to travel and see art, actually. Because other people in my class were like, oh, I saw that, I saw that somewhere. And I was like, I need to go see this stuff in person. And I think when you look at the stories, it's this action through painting. It's super exciting, there's lots of drama. You would never think oil paintings would have so much drama in them, but they do. So, yeah. <laughs>